Raymond van der Gau turned to Phil Neville and said, Well it's going to be very difficult. The pair were sat next to each other on the Manchester United subs bench in the no camp. Sir Alex Ferguson's side were one down heading into the closing stages of the Champions League final against Bayern Munich. The Dutch goalkeeper, a reliable understudy to Peter Schmeichel during his time at Old Trafford, had been asked by the younger Neville brother for a score prediction before kick-off. Had gone 2-1. Now, with time ticking down, Neville asked him again. Then we scored twice in injury time, said Van der Gau, speaking to the it was a theme of that season. It was crazy, the whole season was crazy. That season we scored a lot of goals in the last part of the game. We were 1-0 down a lot. In that last game of the Premier League against Tottenham, we needed to win at a full stadium at Old Trafford and Tottenham scored. It was like a funeral but we came back to win. In the semi-final of the FA Cup against Arsenal we won it in extra time with a crazy action from Ryan Giggs. It was typical that season. In the Champions League final we were 1-0 down after 5 or 10 minutes and scored twice in injury time. That team was like a big puzzle and it was completed in 1999 winning the Premier League, FA Cup and Champions League in such a short space of time. It was a crazy two weeks. No English side has repeated the feat in the 24 years since. Now, Manchester City stand two games away from replicating the Reds' achievement. United can stop them this afternoon. Van der Gau will be at Wembley to watch. It was great to have the record and you would like to keep the record as long as possible, but there is a big chance City will win the treble, the 60-year-old admitted. As he takes his seat in the capital, Van der Gu's son Ennio, also a goalkeeper, will be in playoff semi-final action with VVV Venlo in the Netherlands. They are level at 1-1 with Almir City and a win away from a showpiece and a chance to earn promotion to the top tier. He is doing really well, said Dad. He'll miss the game but hopefully I will see him in the final. Speaking of finals, Van der Gau has watched the highlights from that famous night in Barcelona more than once. You could have a heart attack if you followed one of those two teams, he quipped. The Dutchman played eight times that campaign but, like so many others, contributed to a winning machine that didn't lose in 33 matches from Christmas onwards. Sir Alex Ferguson had found a special formula, a perfect blend and was perhaps the first to adopt the squad approach. It meant everyone felt a part of what was fast becoming something special. After Christmas, we put the gear stick in the right gear, Van der Gau reflected. We were flying and just in a flow. You want to win games and if you are winning games you keep looking ahead. We were doing so well that season and we were focused on the Premier League but we kept getting through in the FA Cup and Champions League. We were a really good team. Everyone was positive and wanted to be a part of it. It was about teamwork that season. We didn't have Roy Keane and Paul Scholes for the final but we still had a really strong team. We all wanted to play but only 11 can. And we knew the importance of subs, we saw it in the Champions League final with, Ole Gunnar, Solskjaer and Teddy Sheringham. They came on and scored the two goals. I always felt a big part of it on the road to 99. 
city's road in 2023 has similarly ratcheted up as the campaign has gone on. Talk of a treble has dominated the past few weeks as Pep Guardiola's side have ticked off win after win and milestone after milestone. The feeling was different 24 years ago, before Twitter and Facebook, before 5G Internet. Back then there wasn't as much media, I didn't have the feeling that many were talking of winning the treble, said Van der Gaal. No one at the club was speaking about it but everyone was hoping we would win more than one trophy. We wanted to win the Premier League and then it was the FA Cup final and we still weren't talking about winning the treble. You are so close to winning everything but you are so close to losing anything. In the end we had a treble that was an incredible achievement.